Hey, how you doing? It's Tom Breeze here, founder of TomBreeze.tv and the Video Marketing Blueprint. And in this video, what I want to do is go through some software that is going to be really useful for compressing your videos. Now, this is important to do because of many different reasons. One, because you want the file size to be as small as possible, uh, because then obviously you can store it on your computer much more easily and not take up loads of space. The other reason is that when you've got that video, you can actually upload it to the internet, and it means that when people watch that video, it streams through nice and quickly. So there's no buffering or any problems with the streaming. It's just very, very quick. But also, it's great because you can keep your video quality very high and reduce the files, file size as well. So I'm going to walk you through the whole process and also the settings you need to get right because you'll find that sometimes you'll have a video, especially if you're hosting it on somewhere like Amazon S3, for example, where it might not play on some computers or some mobile devices like your mobile phone, etc. Now, I know we're going into a bit of techie stuff there. Don't worry, I'm just going to say, do this, do that, and it'll work for you. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do to begin with is do this with me. Go to Google to begin with, and then let's just start typing in handbrake. Okay, so handbrake. And you'll see the first result is handbrake.fr. That's the one you want to click. Okay, it's a French website. So you want to click on handbrake.fr and you'll come through to this particular web page. And when you do that, you want to look on the left hand side and go down to download and click that link. Now, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, you can see the download links here. So you click the one that's most relevant for you. For me, I'm on a, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to click this button. And then what it'll do is it will take you through to a SourceForge page where you start downloading the software. It gives you three seconds, two seconds, one second of advertising. Then it says, where do you want to save it? I'm going to save it to my desktop, and then it should be going on to there now. So let's just get rid of this for a second. And you can see it's starting to download already. And once it's downloaded completely, I'll show you what you need to do next. Good, okay, all done. Now what we do is we double click on the handbrake button that's just um, we just downloaded, and this is the same for a PC. You'll, you'll be very familiar with how to download software, etc. Once you do that, it's gonna open up for you. Now when you open up, you'll see the icon here of a cocktail glass and a pineapple. I don't know why it's got that, but let's go with it. <laughs> okay, so we drag that back onto our desktop so we just know where it is, okay? Now just let that copy across. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm going to eject, sorry, I'll just get rid of this for a second. I'm going to eject this, just get off the, and delete this. You don't need these bits anymore. So now you've got your icon here. It's the hand break icon. Okay, so what you want to do then is double click and open up the software. Now, as you open up the software, it's going to immediately say, which vi video would you like to upload into the system? Now, let me just cancel this just for a second. You don't need to do that yourself, but um, you can just press cancel just for a second because I just want you to run through a few things that you can see here. Um, now you'll see there's lots of little settings and things and you won't be able to change any of those until you've actually put in a video that you wish to compress. So I'm going to go to my source and I'm going to check a video that um, is irrelevant really for now, but it's a video nonetheless. Now when you've got it there, it doesn't matter what um, video you've uploaded, mine's just called video 0001.mp4, you can put any type of video in there, so when there's me media videos, you can put in .mov files, whatever you wish to do. So you've got your source file in there, and then you've got the title here, all this stuff I don't need to know about, so I don't care about. <laughs> um, then you've got destination, obviously put that in a new destination. A little tip here, if you upload a source video that's M4V, it's going to probably export it as M4V as well, so don't save it in the same place, otherwise it just won't work, because it will take one video and call it the same thing, and it will lose itself, um, and it will be <laughs> troublesome. So don't do that. Um, but what you do is you look at the output settings, and here you can change the MP4 file to MKV if you wish, but I keep it MP4. Okay, so keep it MP4 for now. Then you want to click Web Optimized. The reason you do that is because you want the videos to be able to play everywhere. So whether you're on a Mac, PC, what sort of software you're using, or if you're on your mobile phone, etc., click that and it will work absolutely everywhere. Okay, so Web Optimized. Make sure you click that. Now, then you'll see below this box here where it's got some titles at the top. Look at the video to begin with. Make sure the video um, codec is on H.264. It's important that you do that. Um, then we're going to come back to this page in a second. Then we want you to go to audio. And when audio comes up, you can see all these different things come up here. The bit rate, change that to 128. Okay, change it to 128 from 160 it was previously. Don't know why, but just do it. <laughs> um, subtitles, don't worry about that. Advanced 
yes, you want to change the reference frames here in encoding to 4. Okay? You want to change it from 2 to 4. That's all you need to do there. Then with your video, you then go back and you change this average bit rate. Okay? So when it comes to the average bit rate, instead of 1500, which can desync some audio from the video sometimes, especially on PCs, this is why a lot of my clients have asked me to go through this particular video with them. Um, you want to change that to either 600 or 800, and let me explain why. I'm going to put it at 800, um, because I put it at 800 if there's a lots of moving parts in the video. So if you're actually in the video, so that people can see you talking and all that sort of good stuff, then keep it at 800, just because the resolution needs to be a bit better, uh, or the bit rate. And if you are doing a video like I'm doing here, where I am just talking to you and the computer is here, then you can do it at 600, just because the bitrate doesn't need to be quite so large. So I keep it at 800 because I've never had a problem with 800. Keep it at that yourself as well. I, I really recommend that. Once you've done that, you'll be good to um, press the start button, and that video will start encoding um, onto wherever you like to save it. So I've got it going onto my desktop, so I press start. And then once you do that, you'll see on the bottom, this blue line starts going across. And depending on the size of the video, it will depend on the time that you need to do. Now, I'm going to pause that because you don't actually need to get that done. But once you've done that, then you'll have your video compressed. It means you can then upload it to any of the video hosting software. Or if you want to, you can actually plug it back in to some video editing software like Movie Maker or iMovie. Make a few edits and then um, upload it to YouTube or wherever you wish to upload it to or Amazon S3. And you know those videos that you create now will be able to be played everywhere seamlessly because of the track and the... Uh, streaming will be very quick because it's a much smaller size of file. Plus, also, you'll find that because it's web-optimized, you can watch it on mobile phones, on PCs, on Macs, on any other type of video software that you might be playing those videos on. It will work very effectively for you. So I hope you've taken a lot of value from this particular video. If there's any questions, look below this video, leave some comments for me, and we'll make sure that the videos you create are nicely compressed and easy to watch wherever you upload them. I'll speak to you very soon. Thanks very much.